Well, our next guest's life changed one morning at 3 a.m. when he woke up to a panic attack that wouldn't go away. He turned to music to help him cope, and now he has a new memoir talking about his whole journey. Give it up for the author of the Happiness Playlist and my good friend of 20 years, Mark Malman, everybody. Hello! <laughs> I was... I was going to set my card here, but this couch eats cards, so I'll oh, set no. it over here. That's right, yeah. I hope my credit card's not Exactly. On this Be couch. careful. <laughs> I was trying to remember uh, when we were talking to producers, we met, uh, I think, was it at CCO? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because you were working, what were you doing? I, I was editing the morning news. You're working the assignment desk. That's right. But you know, to like keep our ages down, let's just say it was 10 years ago. That's right, 10 years. That's 10 right. Years yeah, ago. 10, it was 10 years ago. <laughs> but, uh, what was it like, I, I hear from people that write books about their lives, write autobiographies, write a book that is very cathartic, that you work out a lot when you see it, on, when you see your life kind of in the written word. Was that the experience for you with this? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when, when you write well, a, there's the interview, everybody, in Mark's book. <laughs> no, yeah. When you write a book, you're sitting inside in front of a computer, and I'm used to touring and playing shows and you know going going out to eat in restaurants and this is like order a pizza sit in front of the computer and write sometimes there's a dog there yeah. and then a year goes by what made you want to do it though buddy well i i i had this playlist that i used for a long time and I, and i i i didn't even know i was going to write a book really i i got i just thought there were a lot of like self help books out there that that are depressing and i thought well, why can't we write a happy one and I'm not a, like a, you know, a, a psychologist or a, I didn't even know if you know that. But I, I, I knew <laughs> that about you, yes. Uh, uh, but I'm like kind of an authority on music, you yeah. know, and it helped me so much. Just like the power of, of positive songs has helped me so much with grief and panic anxiety. And, and, and you wanted to put that out there. And for those who don't know, if you're watching us in other parts of Wisconsin or Minnesota, you're like, oh, Mark looks familiar. Google Mark. He's done it all. He's been <laughs> in the music scene. How would you describe, for people that are unfamiliar with you, how would you describe your musical style? And how would you describe your career to someone you're, that's just looking at you right now on The Jason Show going, he looks familiar, Mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've, I've put out records like everybody. I, I toured toured America for a long time. Uh, star on First Avenue. I, you know what? My star on First Avenue is below Ice Cube and above Joan Jett. So that's basically a combination of those two things. That's a pretty good squad, buddy. <laughs> I know, right? If that was my squad, I'd be like... Well, and, it, and, it, and it, it's funny, every time I pass First Ave, uh -huh. and I see you're the only person that I know with a star. So I go, I know him. I know him. You, you gotta get a star, oh, man. Oh, no, 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 not at First no, First, not at first Ave, Ave, get on it. No, what, uh, when, when you look back at your career, though, because I, I, I really do, that's why I, we haven't chatted about this. When you look back at your career, what floats to the top for you? What do you, what do you think about the most in your, in your career? You know, I, I, this is, I mean, I've, I've traveled all over and I, I've played with famous people, I've met famous people, and I, I've released, I've been able to live my dream. Yeah. You know, when, when And that's we, a blessing by itself. I yeah. mean, we both are examples of two we're people. We're both examples yeah. of people who just were like, we don't have any choice but be who we are, so the world has to adapt. And I, I think that's probably the most rewarding part, is just being able to be myself with my podcast. I can be weird on stage, I can dance a lot, and I can write a book about maybe some traumatic events that could help people and and uh, and it seems to be working the play the 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 book is called the happiness playlist and it actually is a playlist right there's the the cover nice cover by the way buddy Thank i you. like that Thank very you. much it came into the office i'm like look at mark <laughs> uh, what types of songs mark what is all kidding aside what kind what kind of songs are on the playlist you know i th i think like when you when you're dealing with in a bad mood like a really like trauma or a loss of a family member something we all go through you kind of got to bypass your brain and go with your body and kind of like funkiness, you know, dance songs, move your body and your mind's going to follow. It just, that's how it works. Because I, I got to tell you, I'm one of those. So now I got to, I'm going to look at your playlist because I'm one of those. And I probably think some people are like me on this one. When I'm in a bad mood, I listen to sad music. I, and that's probably not the best thing. When I've had a bad day, do you know what? I, I've never admitted this. Do you know what I listen to? Bad day. That song, So You Had a Bad Day. I listen to that, yeah. But you know, that's like... Don't a, laugh at that, Evan. Don't, I, I'm revealing it here, yeah. I mean, that's the catharsis of it, you know? And, and I, I think that works. For me, there's this Nine Inch Nails song that 
I, I, I turn it up real loud and I feel great. And I don't know why, and I write about that in the book, but there is also this place where you have to have some self-care and when listening to music. You know, I stopped writing music when I was in a bad mood in like 2003. I said, I'm not gonna write. And if I write a sad song nowadays, I, I'm usually in a good mood when I write it. Yeah. And, and the, uh, they were telling me you are touring. What are you doing at the libraries? Tell me about that. You're oh, curating. Yeah, the, the, the public library has this new thing where you curate their vinyl collection. Because, you know, vinyl's oh, hot right now. Um, so you, for a month, you can like curate their vinyl, and then the listeners can go into the vinyl listening room. It's so hip. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, like I know, right? Go, go library. I like that. I like it, too. Do you think, do, uh, do you think you're going to write another book, or was this, uh, did you pour everything into this one? Uh, this is, I wanted a short book that people could read on a plane, and I wanted a book that people wouldn't be bummed out with, but would still enlighten their, like, you know, um, karma. So I, I hope so. I get it. I, I, you know, this, this just popped in my mind, and I thought, you're the perfect person to ask because of what you just wrote. You wrote about a, a, a playlist that has helped you through times. I would imagine, and this just kind of hit me, I would imagine, as someone who does music, when someone comes up to you, because I know for me with this show, when someone comes up and says, hey, I start my day with you, yeah. and it starts with a smile, it's not fake, it's not BS, that means the, the world to me. I would imagine as a songwriter, when people come up to you and say, hey, this song of yours helped me through X, Y, and Z, I know you, that must Absolutely. be incredibly special for you. Absolutely. I mean, other, you otherwise- Because you have that power with music. You do, uh, but really what you're doing is you're drawing out the power that's within people already. You're mm. creating something for them to say that maybe they, they, they didn't know how to say and music allows you to do that, you know? Oh, dude, perfect answer. I love it. Mark's gonna stick around. We're gonna wrap up the show with Mark, but the Happiness Playlist, everybody, is available on Amazon. And for information on book signing events, head to Mark's website, markmalman.com. We're going to wrap up the show with Kendall, Mark, and Peeps when we come back. We're going to get Mark to eat some Peeps. Those nasty Peeps.